In the late 1970s, there were massive cutbacks in arts education in the Chicago Public Schools. The Junior League had a quite a proud history of starting arts projects in Chicago institutions. My co-chair was a woman named Jeanette Creston, did some research and were led to two women who were arts educators, Suzanne Cohen and Jean Unsworth. They had an idea for a children's museum that would involve the arts. There was no children's museum in Chicago. There were very few in the United States at that point. It was a movement that was just starting to grow. We were able to get two hallways donated to us by the Chicago Public Library Cultural Center. We were one exhibit in the Cultural Center, an exhibit called Getting to Know Hugh. The response was overwhelming. Within the first six weeks, we had 10,000 people had come through this little exhibit. We knew that we had a winner. I think the museum has created a very unique position for itself in Chicago within the institutions of museums and even more it's become a leader in children's museums around the country. Each time we moved and we had four locations, the Cultural Center, 2,000 square feet. 1985-6 we moved to a Lincoln Park facility, 7,000, so we tripled our space. 1989, we moved to North Pier with 21,000. We tripled our space. Just turns out that in the early 90s, Navy Pier was being developed. And it took us probably a couple of years to negotiate our 99-year lease at a dollar a year. And we moved in in 1995. As the museum moved to Navy Pier, you could tell that it became not just a bigger place in space, but a, a really rich experience for kids. The mission was five words, where play and learning connect. Today, I'm sure that seems completely non-controversial to everyone, but children's museums did not talk about play. You didn't ask people for money to have children come and play. So the idea that the Chicago Children's Museum would step out of that taboo was pretty revolutionary. We brought our three daughters to the museum. Some of their favorite things to do um, were climb on the schooner, jump on the nets, crawl through the holes, all that kind of stuff. We had an AIDS quilts ex exhibit. We had a Oaxaca uh, exhibit. Forts was unbelievable. A room full of blankets and tables was the most imaginative play and so new at the time. I was standing um, by a window with a little kid. He was probably three. And he pointed out the window and said, what's that? And I said, what's what? And he said that, and he was pointing at the lake. And it was then that I realized that this child had never actually seen the lake and didn't know Chicago was on an amazing lake. What will always be important to me is accessibility and that there is always a position that the museum takes about ensuring that all children of the city have access to this museum. I remember the kids they had a wonderful exhibit. You could try kid-sized wheelchairs and kid-sized uh, crutches. This is very much a part of the history here, the, the empathy, um, trying to put yourself in someone else's shoes. Other than the National Museum of Mexican Art, we were the first museum in Chicago to have a signage in, in two languages. It wasn't just symbolic. It was really important because we knew that we had a lot of people who were coming for whom English wasn't their first language, and we wanted them to feel as welcome here. It's a gathering place. It's a joyful place. It's a place that memories are made. Traveled around the world globally um, through work, and I've had countless conversations with people who said, oh, I remember going to the museum. I remember taking my kids to the museum. It's just a very special place. As the eighth chairperson of the board of directors of the Children's Museum, I inherit a legacy, a legacy rich in a tradition and a vision of creating a space where children of Chicago can learn while they play. It's really gratifying to be able to identify a need in the community and find a project that would address that need. There's nothing more important than 
developing imagination and creativity in young minds. It's really, really exciting to celebrate 40 years. There's no question about that.